Hi, this is Scott from Interface Printers. Today we are going to show you how to remove the toner dispenser assembly in order to troubleshoot a toner dispenser fault code. You should have a uh, you should have a a code in order to reset this, and you should also have a code that will allow you to rotate the motors. If the motors do not rotate, this video is gonna show you how to remove the assembly so you can replace the motor. The very first thing you're gonna need is a 5.5 millimeter. And a machine to work them. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the toner door here. That's where it, go ahead and remove all of these toners, set them to the side. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the door. There's two screws here on top. You don't need to remove them completely, just loosen them up. There's a couple of metal slides, slide them back. And the door should come free. This particular model we're working on today is a C60. This procedure also will work for a docky color, a 560, 570, 700, uh, everything all the way up to a Versant. It has the same assembly in here. so. So we're going to remove these top screws here. There's two on the top. Just going to set these here for now. There's also two that are deep inside here. There's one right here on the side. We're just going to loosen these up. You don't need to take them out completely. here should come off. If you are working with a C or a 550, there's also a clip that's inside of here you're going to need to remove it for the USB. Just reach in there and take that right. Move this on top here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this plastic cover here. going to be four screws on the top and if you'll notice there's a little bit of a difference between these screws and the screws you took out before these are a plastic screw that has more of a coarse thread on it if we can focus in here maybe not it has more of a coarse thread on it make sure you don't mix these up with the other ones okay the next thing we're gonna do is pull this here off. There's a couple of clips that are down here on the bottom. So just lift up and then out. Set that off to the side. Zoom in here just a bit. Okay. So there are a couple of wire clips that are in here. These wiring harnesses you're gonna to need to remove. The first thing we're gonna do though is remove this assembly here. So there's gonna be two screws on this side. Let's screw the housing into the frame. I'm gonna completely remove these screws here.
And then inside of here, on each one of these, you'll see a small uh, C-shape. There's a screw at the end of it. Stick your 5.5 in there. Remove these screws. Four in total. All right, and it should be ready to remove now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down the IBT belt here, release the drum drawer, which this is still attached to, and we're gonna pull it out. And as we pull it out, I'm just gonna reach in here, disconnect this wiring harness. Slide it to the back. Close the door. So I'm gonna flip this around here, and as you can see here, there are four motors on here. There's the one for the black, the cyan, the magenta, and then of course the yellow. The black one is the easiest one to get out because it doesn't have this metal bracket around it. If you need to remove these, you're going to need to remove this metal bracket. There's some screws in the front, as well as the ones on the back. So, with the black one, it's really easy. Just reach in here, disconnect the cable for the motor, take out this screw here as well as the screw down here on the bottom. And this is your motor assembly. Now this is an additional gear that's down here on the bottom. You also want to make sure this gear here isn't broken. Make sure that all the teeth are fine on it. And then to put this back in, just going to set this in here. It's going to be kind of difficult to do this in front of the camera without making a mess with the toner. Make sure that this hole here lines up with the pin. That's right here that attaches to the gear. And then you can insert it back in. There you are. To put this back in, we'll flip it back towards the front. Open this up here. You can put it back on the same way that we took it off, or you can just manually slide it in here. Make sure that your screw holes line up. These screws back in and here. Use the ones on the top for now. And then continue to reassemble it in the opposite way in which we disassembled it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Scott from Interface Printers. Thank you.